understand how that diversity relates to health or susceptibility to disease. There are certain groups for which we know there is a much higher probability of developing certain diseases, certain cancers for example, and if one has this information and embraces the differences that occur between individuals as well as between communities and groups of people, one can then work with those individuals and those groups uh, towards preventing disease in the future. For example, in Central Africa, people have been exposed to malaria for hundreds of years. And there's a particular genetic variant called the sickle cell mutation, which is much more common in that population. And the reason it's more common is that if you have a single copy of that variant, you are protected against becoming infected with malaria. So people who have one copy of that variant are more likely to have children, and therefore the frequency increases. The information that we derive will be very useful in preventing serious side effects from medicines, but as importantly, ensuring that people actually do respond to the medicine that we give them. Where, for example, you want to advise the government about what antiretroviral drugs will be most suited for the population as a whole. You can then look at the genetic variation and advise them about what will be most effective. And I think that that's really important because it can save a lot of money in the long run if you start off with something that is likely to work from the start. It's also very important to develop the notion of personalised medicine where on the basis of information that we have on a given individual's genome we will be able to personalise our approach to that individual and not just apply a sort of gun, a shotgun generic approach as we would apply to a general population. There's a huge reason as to why we should invest in genomic research in Africa. In addition to sorting out some of Africa's problems and understanding the biology and what predisposes us to disease or what makes us resistant to disease on the African continent, there's a real good chance that it will help Africa, but discoveries in Africa on African variations will also help much of the rest of the world.